Hello everyone and welcome back to another Hard Count Podcast and today we're going to be talking about Zach Wilson, quarterback of the New York Jets and why I still have hope he can turn into the guy we all thought he could be. Real quick though, before we get into the video, I just want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button as it would really mean a lot to me. So thank you guys for that and without further ado, let's get right into the video. Zach Wilson. Had a fantastic season at BYU in 2020, where he displayed his elite traits as a passer, which ultimately skyrocketed him to being the number two overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft to the New York Jets. So naturally, as is the case with rookie quarterbacks, people were excited to see what he had to offer. Could he be the next franchise guy for the Jets? Well, many people were disappointed with Zach Wilson's performance in 2021 already calling him a bust. He just isn't the guy for the Jets. He's never gonna be the guy we thought he was coming out of the draft. But for me, I'm not giving up hope so fast. I still believe that Zach Wilson can be the future of the Jets and can still be an elite quarterback in the NFL. So when people talk about Zach Wilson and his problems, they're gonna bring up a couple of things in his game. The two most common being his inaccuracies and his turnovers in his rookie season, stemming from not having great pocket presence, being uncomfortable under pressure, making irrational plays because of it. And these things are true. Absolutely. Zach Wilson does have some problems in his game that showed up in his rookie season. But what I say is, Who says these things can't change? Zach Wilson was a rookie. It was his first season in the NFL. We can't expect perfection. I think as a community, we have built an unfair perception of what a rookie quarterback is supposed to look like. Not everybody is going to be a top 10 quarterback the moment they step foot on the NFL field, like a Justin Herbert or a Joe Burrow were just two years ago. Development is something that happens in the NFL. Let's not forget about the Lamar Jacksons of the world. Let's not forget about the Josh Allens of the world. Heck, let's not forget about the Peyton Mannings of the world either. Guys who didn't show us greatness year one, but with time, it came. Quarterbacks develop in the NFL, and we can't forget that here with Zach Wilson. Okay, Spencer, I get it. Quarterbacks develop. But are you just having blind faith in Zach Wilson? Did you not see what he looked like in year one? Well, that's a good point. We can't just have blind faith in every quarterback that enters the NFL. But the reason I'm willing to have faith in Zach Wilson is because I have seen the greatness in Zach Wilson's game before. Zach Wilson was my number one quarterback prospect in last year's draft. At BYU, we saw Zach Wilson do so much at an elite level. We saw the elite arm talent. We saw him be accurate all over the field. We saw him stay away from turnovers. We saw him make a lot of special plays. The reason I have faith in Zach Wilson is because we have already seen it from him. And although it's been spotty, we still have seen a lot of it in the NFL. There have been flashes of great from Zach Wilson, flashes of elite arm talent, flashes of Aaron Rodgers, flashes of Patrick Mahomes. Those are flashes that can develop into things that Zach Wilson can do play in, play out. Just because Zach Wilson wasn't great in year one doesn't mean he can't be great in the future. And another thing is, that even just last season, we saw growth with Zach Wilson. As the season went on, he started to show more of those things. He started to figure things out. We saw him play more comfortably, showing more of those flashes of special that I was hoping to see from Zach Wilson. That Titans game he played at the end of the year was potentially the best display of talent all year from any of the rookie quarterbacks. Even in his first season, Zach Wilson was figuring things out. So why not believe 
he can do it beyond that. Because I certainly do. And I also want to talk about the Jets. Because when looking at year one of Zach Wilson, his surrounding situation in New York certainly wasn't helping. He joined arguably the worst team in the league, who just hired a new head coach, who had one of the worst offensive lines in the league, whose weapons really weren't there. Of course, things aren't going to look pretty. It's going to take time to gel and work things out in that situation. An offense that was filled with bad pass concepts, an offensive line that needed work, weapons that weren't great, wasn't the situation ideal for Zach Wilson's growth. And naturally, Zach Wilson struggled because of it. But I'm not giving up on this Jets situation just yet. Because as we continue to see this offensive line develop, as we continue to see Robert Sala take charge in New York, as we see those young wide receivers develop, we will continue to see a better place for Zach Wilson to grow and reach his full potential which I expect him to be able to do. So, yes, Zach Wilson has had some struggles early on in his career. But that's as to be expected for a rookie quarterback in a situation that is not putting him in a position to grow and be great. And as we see Zach Wilson continue to adjust to the NFL, I think we will continue to see him unlock his full potential and watch him become the special player I always knew he could be.